right. Cool. So, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> we're Jeff and I. We haven't done a ten things list before because no, I was afraid haven't. to do one with you after the pumpkin spice fiasco with Harley. That was disgusting, <laughs> sir. That was so. For those who didn't see that one, the first time Harley was on the show, we did a pumpkin spice ten things that should not be pumpkin spice flavored or. I'm just gonna say one thing. One thing out of all those ten. <laughs> Pumpkin spice flavored tampons. Yeah, though, we were peeing ourselves laughing so bad. So, today's list is games that deserve esports leagues. You know, we thought about the most absurd games that would be fun to try to pull off as esports. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. So, I'm going to let you kick off with number one. Number one, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem is old school. I mean, the 1991, the one that. Lived with us in the 90s and just literally... Not the redone one. Though. No, not the newest one. Like, this old school one. It was... A, it was. It's just... You can make your own levels, which took you hours to do. And you just go against each other. And I can see this becoming a competitive thing. I can. And it's like, you know, you can... And you can do it on multiplayer and everything. See, and then you, you can go like through the storyline. An easy and, one to start off with. Yeah. I, I thought Duke Nukem would be great. I picked an easy one to start off with, too. Next on the list is Prap I mean, of the Rapper. Oh. <laughs> It is a singing, button mashing, <laughs> dancing game. <laughs> I've never heard of this, but when I read the name, I'm like, what the heck? You, you play a two-dimensional dog trying to make a cake for your girlfriend's birthday, and you rap and push buttons while you learn to drive a car and kung fu to defend yourself. This could make for a really fun time. That sounds very competitive. League, I like this. But not um, Jam Relay, because that game sucked. It's got to be the original Prap of the Rapper with a f Officer Mussolini teaching you to drive the car. I could play that game with my eyes closed. I would win this eSports League. All right, all right. Well, so what do we have next? We have Paperboy. <laughs> I don't know Paperboy. I, I, all right, so I, um, I, my brother and I played this, and we would compete against each other. Who's going to get the piece of candy from Mom and Dad? Who's going to go and get this? And for you know, We, we were competing on this game. This is game. one of those you're playing by just, yourself just, type of eSports going on? Dude, we, I remember just playing this You'd game. You'd be in the scrubs league for that for sure. Hours, hours. It, I thought it was just perfect. You're basically on a bicycle. You're going through obstacles, neighborhoods, and you have to like dodge an attacking dog. You have to throw newspapers, and you have to hit the houses. And you can, if you hit the windows, the windows break, and you lose points. <clears throat> you got to watch out for uh, cars coming in and everything else like that. I mean, it is a lot of fun. And then near the end of the obstacle, it gets insane. Everything that you've been going, you've been trying to dodge out the whole entire time, just comes at you one bit. It's amazing. I think this would be perfect. All right. I could maybe see that one <clears> as <throat> including like VR abilities. I could see that happening. But next <laughs> up is one I could definitely see happening. It is Mario Party. Why is it already? Why is it not already? <laughs> Do you Seriously? know? Yes, because we, we, I know they made Mario Party just to break controllers, and I could guarantee people bring in their joysticks, and they'd just be going, rolling boats, and rolling dice, and throwing stuff at each other. I, this would be the most bloodthirsty Friendship breaking esports league of all time. I think this is perfect. We should, we should. <laughs> hey, you guys need to get started on this. All right, come on. They're not even touching Mario Party with a ten foot pole over there. They walked away <laughs> to the corner. <laughs> but this could happen. I can see this happening. This could be a major like Jerry Springer esports league type of thing going on right here. I can see this. I can see this happening. <laughs> Next right. up. Next up, we got. Missile Command. Okay. The reason I say Missile Command is because this actually gets really intense. It, you know, you get your the little like nuclear bombs coming down in your city, and you have to fire up your missiles, and you have to basically it's mouse and click, mouse and click, mouse and click. And if you keep losing, and so much crap is falling because you only have so much ammunition to hit the other uh, nukes from hitting. Seriously, I've taken so many mouses. Now my father's gonna realize it was mouses. me and not the dog. I have taken mouses and mouses. threw them across the room and just shattered. This is why we're not esports people. Yes. <laughs> we don't know this how is to nice. <laughs> But seriously, Missile Command, I think it can get very competitive. You'd be amazed, especially if you do it drunk. Did that recently. Any gaming drunk is fun. That's well, the, yeah, that's of the course. That's the way to play Frisbee golf, by the way. <laughs> what's, our, <laughs> what's our next, next game up, we got here? Pac Man. Simply because. No. We, no. <laughs> when you watch things like King of Kong and that one with the snake. This would be old school gamers getting into the esports realm. My they dad would probably join esports then doing this. They are hardcore because that's they they can't push five buttons. I can't you, play a retro game anymore. Is, I'm spoiled by twenty buttons. Out with all the other crap coming, the ghosts coming after you it is. Hard. And people have this thing like down. And when you watch these documentaries of these retro old school players. Can you imagine how hardcore that would be? Like, they would be at each other's throats, punching, slashing tires. And 
It'd be my, really my bad. dad would play this game, and it would, and we're like, you know, four or five hours later, he's still playing the game. Well, he, he's the, the same one that can beat like all the and colors over, and yeah. levels. It's infinite. It's great. It's infinite. Infinity is not great. I don't know. It's it's next game. No, no more super few. <laughs> <laughs> next game, I got Tempest. I can see this one too. This one, I mean, you're basically a little spaceship, and it's. Oh god, I don't even know. It's like 2D dimensional and you're basically trying to dodge all this crap coming after you. You can fire at things and you're just it's it's just a lot of hand-eye coordination. And I think this would be a very good competitive game in esports. I can see that. Whereas my next one is another friendship breaker, Bomberman. I have lost more friends over Bomberman than I ever care to admit. But it's another hectic party game like Mario Party where you really can't predict a whole lot, so it throws that, that element of chaos in. That is true. I could, I could it see just this totally happening. makes things go crazy because reverse battle bombs up the virus alone. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah. I remember playing this game, and it was it was. I still killer. play it on Xbox. I run around and I pass diseases off of people because I'm a jerk that way. I will go after the diseases and then chase you down. Speaking of diseases and infections, look at this radiation game, Rampage. Dude, I think this would be great. Being a giant monster, destroying the city was always fun. I just love watching the buildings fall and everything. It was just, and you're trying to get as many points as possible. Like, I think what would be the rules? Would like, you this. would get extra points for eating how many people? And, like, I'm trying to figure out the climb esports the building. rules they would do for this. <laughs> well, yeah, you climb the building. That's what you do. Yeah, and then you keep stopping on it until it crashes. This is a, you didn't pick multiplayer games. You pick games you play by yourself. You're no fun at this esports game. Do you game. want me to bring my brother here? My brother will be on next season. But do you want me to bring him here no. tonight? I can call so, him right now. So, the last one on our list, you got to take a shot every time we bring up Space Channel 5. You want to talk about a game that would incorporate cosplay, dance maneuvers, and esports into one? Singing, I mean... Holy crap, this would go on a level beyond anything. No matter what we talk about, he always It always goes back to Space out. Channel 5 and Time Space Those Channel are my two 5. games, people. Primary Space Channel 5. Yeah, Primary. I bring up Space Channel 5 whenever I can. Because it's such a great game, because it's got such e Esports people, outfits. please just make it a game so he'll shut up. Seriously, such it's driving outfits, us crazy. Such amazing music, such a ridiculous He's going on and on story. and on. This is what he does But about can this you game. imagine the esports where they're playing, you also have cosplayers acting in the back. It'd be like Rocky Horror. Seeing it live. So we <laughs> got for Space Channel 5. So we got Duke Nukem, Parappa, Paperboy, Mario Party, Missile Command, Pac-Man, Tempest, Bomberman, Rampage, Space Channel, Space Channel 5. 5. Up, down, up, down, choo, choo, choo. So that's been our list of games that we think would be really <laughs> You guys cool. just made the esports people cry in the corner. <laughs> they just are like, we can't Where did you come this. from? <laughs> so... That's been our fun list. If we missed a game, let us know when it's online in the comments. And let us know your thoughts and reasons behind it. And when you support Space Channel 5, we will premiere a kitten video on this show live for every like for Space Channel 5. Oh. <laughs> I will tell you that right now. <laughs> Here's our bonus level, folks. Oh, Here comes the bonus level. I have a boba fetish. Let's go. Oh, I have our shirt. Oh. I need to get you that shirt too. It says I have What's a boba that? fetish. What's that? What's oh. that? <laughs> it's only because we haven't done that yet. Oh, no. <laughs>